Peace. I'm Adam Jabari, and this lesson is called Scenario. We're going to explore story and sequence. A scenario is an imagined sequence of events. In stories, we often think of this as a beginning, middle, and end. Today, we are also going to think of sequence as long, medium, and close shots. Today, turn your camera to a landscape orientation or horizontal. As with all photography, we need a source of light. Where does your light come from? You will also need your camera, a smartphone or tablet with a camera app is perfect for this practice. And have pen and paper available to write down your ideas. You'll need to turn on the grid lines in your device. Depending on what you're using, you may need to follow a different method. On an Android phone like mine, it's directly in the camera settings. So if you open the camera app, you can find in the settings a way to turn grid lines on. If you're using an Apple device, go to settings, find the camera app in settings, and turn grid on. And if you're using a DSLR or other camera, check the settings or the instruction manuals for your device for how to turn your grid lines on. These grid lines will create nine sections on your screen, three vertical sections, and three horizontal sections. Let's start with three deep breaths. Sit nice and tall, heart forward, crown high. Take a deep breath in through your nose, into your belly. Exhale slowly. You might place a hand over your belly and one over your heart. Take another deep breath in through your nose, filling your belly, filling your lungs. Exhale slowly from your nose. And let's do that one more time together. Deep inhale and exhale through the nose. Thank you. Now that we've grounded, with your pen and paper, take two to three minutes to write or illustrate the sequence of events that preceded you watching this video. The beginning, middle, and end. Now that you've recalled the sequence of events of your day, let's use our cameras to map out the scenario. Think in terms of scenes. Turn your camera to a landscape or horizontal orientation. That is wide rather than tall. We're going to use three types of shots today. This is a long shot. This is a medium shot, and this is a close-up. Use the sequence of events that you wrote as a reference. For each scene in your scenario, make one of each kind of shot. For example, if you start your day by brushing your teeth, you would take a close-up, a medium shot, and a long shot of brushing teeth. Always keep in mind the subject of your images. Use the rule of thirds to align important information in your frame. You will finish with at least nine images, three for the beginning, three for the middle, and three for the end. 
sequencing through long, medium, and close shots helps your viewers gain different perspectives on your story and make it more interesting. When you have finished making your images, shuffle the order. How does mixing up the sequence change the story being told? Guatemalan photographer Luis Gonzalez Palma said, it is all connected, life and your experiences. It all dictates the way you feel and transform the world. Thank you for joining me today. Let's close out with one breath together. I'm Adam Jabari. Peace.